Hey everybody, it's August 1st, 2018, and uh, I had posted a picture of this bookcase on Facebook, and several people wanted me to do a bookcase uh, tour, uh, just kind of a video to show what's here, and uh, a, little, a little closer up, so uh, that's what I'm going to do. So this is my, uh, and, and it changes, uh, I just mailed off two Bibles this morning, so they are no longer in this this group. Uh, so this changes, uh, you know, week by week, month by month. This will change. So uh, this will be my August 2018 uh, bookcase tour. Now I have about uh, five bookcases like this, and this is my main one for Bibles. I have more Bibles than this, but this is kind of the my collection. Uh, grade bibles i have uh a bunch of beaters and old uh hardbacks that stay in the house uh in a different area uh that i use but they're not they're not in this group so anyway so let's go through this uh maybe from top to bottom so i have uh three thompson chains over here um you have a king james a esv and then a hand size king james you have the the uh, three Reformation Study Bibles. I have another Reformation Study Bible, the original 2005 edition in the house. Uh, this, I have the condensed edition up top, and then the New King James and the ESV below it. Uh, those I have to review. Um, I still have yet to review those. Beside that is my single column journaling Bible for, uh, that I use for church and and really just note-taking. It's one of the few Bibles I write in. Then I have my signed Nick Saban football. Okay, so uh, I got... These are giveaway Bibles. This is August Giveaway Bible for Everything Bibles Facebook group. This is July's. I'm about to give it away. That'll be the next video I make. Uh, this is another Bible I've got that, that was donated for a giveaway. Haven't have yet to give it away yet, though. These are... Uh, just some a couple of ESVs and a wayfinding Bible from Tyndale, and uh, well, this is not just any ESV. This is a Legacy, a Lego Legacy, and this is the Illuminated Bible. I'll have to go through these a little quicker. So, um, so this stack, so you see a Spirit-filled uh, Life Bible. This stack is uh, at the bottom. You have the Eagle, the uh, Cambridge Wide Margin ESV. Then you have the uh, heirloom legacy and then you have the uh, 75th anniversary edition omega and then you have the uh, brown i have two brown omegas then a black 80th anniversary edition omega this one right here is my omega 2.0 of which i put a large print thin line reference block in and this up top is just an heirloom uh, thin line over here you've got uh, my Skylers and uh, and a Crossway NCR in calfskin. Uh, this is the the original Skylar ESV. Then you have Thintail, the first edition Skylar ESV Quintel, the ESV uh, Credo, and then the calfskin King James version uh, with the multicolored ribbons. Over here are some Allens, um, Champbound. ESV with multicolored ribbons. You have the uh, Superman Bible, the red NASB. You have another chant bound ESV, another chant bound ESV, the uh, blue silver line, the uh, green first edition uh, reader, and then the uh, ever so rare ESV single column reference Bible. So then that next shelf, you've got. Uh, well, some of these I'm just going to have to zip through. Uh, at the top over here, you have a uh, Tyndale NLT uh, gift Bible and then a New King James. These are little small hand size. Uh, a couple of rebinds of mine. This is a Legacy. This is an RSV. This is a HSB that was on sale, Amazon sale, $6. This is my uh, wife's grandfather's Cambridge turquoise I rebound, um, uh, post tender Boss Lux, CSB. This is one of the original uh, Champ Bound uh, ESV ones in the Highland goat skin, and then the uh, Lolo Bound 
uh, ESV PSR in a red goat skin. Now here comes the the section of the bookcase that's probably the most nostalgic and uh, collectible. You've got the on the bottom of both these stacks you have the Lego verse by verse and the Lego Legacy, the uh, ESV Study Bible. You have the In Touch. You have the Judge, and you have the 99 single column reference in in uh, genuine leather. But this genuine leather they use is great. Over here you have perhaps my favorite stack. It's four four of the same Bible. This is the the Godfather, the uh, 2003. Actually, two of them are 2003, and two of them are 2004 uh, heirloom reference editions, bound by Abba. And it is my favorite Bible. Above that is a Cordovan calfskin uh, NCR, also a rare Bible. Um, down below that, you have two single column reference Bibles of the 2008 printing on the U.S. Uh, printing, uh, same paper they used for the Godfather. And then you have, sorry, you have uh, a, uh, let's see, one of them is a verse by verse. Uh, the one below that is a deluxe reference. And the one above that is a classic reference. Then over here we've got my Church Bible Publishers uh, editions. Thompson Chain handy si uh, hand size. You have two of the Cameo Y margins. And this is the uh, red letter turquoise. Uh, then below that is the first Bible my wife gave me, which is the NIV Life Application Study Bible. And uh, I had it rebound by Francisco Guerrero. Then we have some Bibles that I got uh, via trades or either they were sent to me for review. The Parallel Bible, I need to review this one. This is awesome. I use it all the time. The Kids uh, CSB. The Gospels. And this is an ESV Ultra Thin I use. It's a really quick little tiny uh, thing to pull out and read. Uh, this is my NRSV uh, with Apocrypha. I don't use Apocrypha. I don't really think it's scripture, but I do reference it just to see what it says sometimes. Uh, here's a, uh, a uh, little commentary that got snuck in there. I just threw it over here. I was reading from it and put it over here with the Bibles. Uh, you see the note-taking Bible, and then the King James Version, personal size Concord. And then below that, I've got some of my notebooks. Valley of Vision. This is my first Bible I ever received. I, I think I need to do a video on it. It's pretty awesome. A little good news Bible from Nelson. My little red uh, compact thin line. Right beside it. I've had it for a long time. Uh, three of the six editions of the Immerse uh, Bible from Tyndale. Uh, I think I have that's another uh, ultra thin. Those were on sale at one time, so I got several of them. A Greek New Testament. Let's see, uh, CSB that I got from Together for the Gospel Conference. A, uh, a thin line, hardback thin line. A hardback uh, readers, a reader Bible. A hardback. CSB reader, a hardback compact, large print, and then you see this stack of of Bibles, which is a uh, single column heritage, partial size reference. You have the NASB classic reference, Inspire for Girls, and that very bottom one is an awesome long primer from World Publishing. I really want to rebind it for myself, uh, and it's coming. I just have yet to really get to work on any for myself. You have the Worldview Study Bible, the Living Bible, large print, and Life Recovery and a couple of workbooks. And over here, there's just a few Bibles in this over here. Here's this Greek subjugate right here and then another Greek uh, uh, New Testament, um, which is really cool to have because I'm trying to learn Greek. I have an interlinear uh, here and a concordance to the Greek Testament. Some biblical Greek survival kit. Let's see. I think that's all the Bibles I have in here. Most of the rest is just reading material. Uh, 
I have some other Bibles, some some little paperbacks and stuff that I give away to folks. Uh, but uh, or if I find a good deal at a library bookstore like this, RSV was two dollars at my library bookstore. I plan on rebinding it and giving it as a gift as well. So I've got several. Uh, but anyway, that's my bookcase tour. I uh, tried to do, go through it as quick as I could. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I'd love to answer any you have. Um, hopefully this was kind of cool to watch. And uh, peace out.